We're gonna charge to 196. That'll get us home with 5%. I don't like this 5% thing. Like I wish we had charged longer because if for some reason we didn't make it, it would be like the worst thing because it's gonna be midnight in the middle of nowhere. Like what are we gonna do? What's up everybody? Uh, just getting ready to leave tomorrow. Figure I'd do the intro for part two um, uh, the day before just so I'm not rushing in the morning and everything. Uh, but you can see the car is charging uh, at the slow four miles an hour. We're preparing uh, the trip tomorrow with a better route planner which worked well for the way here so we're gonna do that again. And we'll be all packed up tonight. We're gonna put everything in the car tonight and we'll just take off in the morning. We have five supercharging stops, so really we can make it in just four, um, but we want more stops. We don't want the big, uh, it's suggesting a few like four hour stretches. We'd rather have three and two and a half hour stretches with the breaks in between. Um, otherwise, I think we're gonna stop anyway without charging. Uh, I also don't think a Better Route Planner is taking into consideration the um, faster charging, the 150 kilowatt charging that I got. Uh, I got the update while we were here. Um, so I think that'll make the charging a little faster as well. Um, so we'll see, it's about the same, of course, amount of time. It, it's planned to be about 16 hours, uh, so we'll see. While we were here, I received the 2019.12 update on the car. So we have the faster supercharging, the uh, 150 kilowatt versus the 120 that it used to be. Um, I also had a couple more referrals go through, so again, thank you to you guys for that. So now we have 6,550 miles of free supercharging. So all our charging will be covered on the way home, that's awesome. While we were here, we also stopped at two different uh, chargers. They were just, they were Tesla chargers, uh, but they weren't superchargers, so they were at, uh, one was at a restaurant that we went to and had dinner and got to charge uh, at a little faster rate to kind of catch up uh, some of the charge we lost on the way down here and then the next one we went to was at a mall um, which was really nice to find those charging spots I used the plug share app um, and I found Tesla chargers that were within 10 miles or so uh, and we didn't need to go to those but it was just kind of fun to find a spot nearby go plug in while we were kind of enjoying you know the local stuff here so I'm gonna finish getting ready and I'll see you tomorrow All right. Thank you. Don't want to forget any of that. Bad news, my rig has busted. We're about to leave. And this is where I, uh, this is how I put the camera up on the roof so you get like the driving shots where you can see the road in the center console. Uh, but oh well. Glen Allen, Virginia Navigate. Supercharger. Oh, okay. Navigate to Glen Allen, Virginia Supercharger. Navigate to Glen Allen, Virginia, Supercharger! Oh, it worked. Sweet. All right, so we're about to head to the first Supercharger. About three hours. And trip is reset. Let me see. We're going to arrive with 16%, so that's good.
All right, you can see on our route here, an hour 48 till we get to the supercharger, so we're skipping this one and we're going all the way to there. We're gonna get off uh, and just take a break really quick. We've gained 4%, um, so it's just like last time. The estimate is uh, a little too safe, uh, which is fine. I mean, I've gotten to the point where now I don't really think about the percent or care. I just know we're gonna make it and I'm not double checking it as much. What's interesting is we're on a new software version on the way home. So we were on 8.5 on the way out and we're on 12.1.2 on the way home. We'll also have the battery warm up on the way to the supercharger and we'll have the faster supercharging when we get there. Arriving at the first supercharger stop. Wow, there are 20 stalls here. Uh, it looks like there are In no other feet. Teslas. So here we are. Look right here. No parking except for electric vehicle charging. Pretty cool. So even if I'm not charging, I shouldn't be parking here. All right, let's get plugged in. We only need to hit 48% at this charger. All right, going up quickly, the battery should have been conditioning on the way here because we had the supercharger as our destination. Hit 120 kilowatts, so we should be able to go above that. Interesting, I wonder if we have too much charge. Uh, I don't know, it says on the map that this supercharger is capable of 150. Click it, 150 kilowatt max, 19 of 20 available. I'm the one that's here. Go back to the charging, we're still at 120. All right, well we're gonna go walk around while it charges. Uh, we'll be back in a few minutes. Stopped in Panera to get some juice. <laughs> Not that juice. All right, charging complete, let's get out of here. All right, we're stuck in some traffic here, but we're about to go through Triangle and then Dumb Fries, and I think, you know, Dumb Fries, that's the one. We're gonna pass this supercharger, and we're going into Springfield. We'll have 31%, which is too much. We only need to get to 70-something percent, and then we'll move on. So, probably another 10-minute charge. Way to go, Dirty Tesla. Now turn left to stay on Springfield Mall. I can't do that. Uh, I'm gonna guess they're in the parking garage. Well, it's saying straight. Straight, all right. Oh, there they are, to the left. The Model 3 leaving, black on black. So I didn't research this one before we came here, so I didn't know what to expect. So this is kind of in the middle of nothing. But that's all right, we'll figure it out. So, and I'm screwing up the parking. Um, this is supposed to be another 150 kilowatt. So we'll see if we can hit it this time. The battery's even more full than before though. So, I don't know, we'll see. All right, pretty busy supercharger here. Uh, getting ready. All right, we're charging. We need to make it to 201 miles at this charger and then we can go. All right, we passed 120, 145, awesome. So that's where the last supercharger said it was 150 capable, but it got stuck at 120. So this one is actually going to 150, so that's really nice. I have just got to say, this is amazing. I feel so great. Autopilot just changes road trips forever. We've been driving for over eight hours. It's like I'm just relaxing here, watching the road. 
the car's doing all the annoying little lane keeping and, and speed keeping and all that. I mean, this changes things forever. I really hope I can have a Tesla forever <laughs> because if I have to switch back to a car that doesn't have autopilot, it's, I'm just, I'm not going to have a good time. Hi, um, we're just going to take a McFlurry. Uh, what are the flavors? M&M and Oreo. M&M. M&M, please. Okay. Just, just a small. Okay. That's it. Just one M&M McFlurry, $3.49. All right, thank you. What the heck is that? She's laying in like a little cage. $3.49, M&M McFlurry. Here's your M&M McFlurry. Thank you. Have a good day. Forgot m and are all colorful. This one seemed to come up really quickly. I feel like we got here really fast, but we got here in just a normal amount of time. This is the same as stop number three from last time. So we're back at the sheets. Uh, whoa, there's a lot of people here this time. A lot of Teslas. Last time there was nobody. So they're all used up. So you're gonna have to double dip on someone? Yep, so we're gonna have to share a stall here. But these guys may be leaving. We might have picked the perfect one. They have some sweet wheels. Oh, we picked the right one. Sweet. Here we go. These open. All right, plugged in. There they go. Night Owl. Nice chrome delete. Ooh, they're from Ohio. All right, that was awesome. We picked the exact correct one. See if we can get up to 150 again. Yep, blew right past 120. We're at 142. Awesome. So we need to get to, I don't know, 70 something percent. Um, so then we'll head out. All right, we're debating a different supercharger, but it says we'll get there with 5% and it says stay below 70 to reach it. Let's do it. No. There, I'll even turn on my air. I'll use less power for you. Driving through rush hour and we could hit traffic and stuff like that. I don't know, I just don't feel comfortable. We'll gain range in the rush hour. So do you want to just go to Cranberry then? Yeah. Okay. Are you okay with that? Yeah, I kind of want to risk it. It'll be fun. Cranberry. At the Cranberry one, the McDonald's is closer. Everything else, All right. the other one We'll go to Cranberry and have 20%. Do you want to do a launch off of here? No. <laughs> Don't do a gentle launch. Okay. I'm not sure there's any such thing. Okay. No way. All right, we're about to go through Dongle right here, and we're halfway to the supercharger, but we kind of want to be risky and go to the farther one. So let's see what it says. Let's see what percent we'll have when we get there. What? Oh, yeah, so we can't make it. So it's going to make us stop somewhere else first to charge a bit and then continue on to the next one. Well, we've been speeding the whole time and it told us to stay below 70 if we wanted to make it. So it knows. It's uh, smart enough to do that. Gosh, Acme. <laughs> Roadrunner. Yeah. like the border? Do I have to stay back? <laughs> I don't think so. They're taking my picture right there. Hello. Hello. Have a good night. Thank you. Oh man. So sad. You gotta go to Canada. They still have it in Canada? Yes they do. Whoa, I didn't know that. We are stuck waiting here forever. Oh. And the light is oh. turning. 
Go, lady, go. go. Please, please, please. So we were stuck there forever. And I'm checking this guy. It says two stalls available. Oh, there's a, I'm going. This is not a very conveniently placed supercharger. Not oh, I see sheets right there. No, it must not be there. It's by this Starbucks. Okay. Okay, so it's, oh, it's literally like at this hotel. And it says that road is closed. Okay. Let's go over here, I guess. There's got to be a way to get in from here. Otherwise, right. they wouldn't close that road. That would be stupid. Okay, it still says two stalls available, so I think we're all right. This is a 120 max, so it'll be two minutes slower. This is going between green and yellow. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I was imagining it. Gotta turn in here with all these guys. At least there's no Teslas. One time I'm happy to not see a Tesla. I see them over there. Alright. Who was here first? I don't know, but I'm gonna. Oh, is that guy unplugging? I don't know. He's, he's pointing oh. right there. Okay, alright. Cool. So he's letting us know that he's leaving. I don't know. He's just saying, like, do you want to park here? And okay. he's trying to move. Well, I appreciate that. He's nice, so we like that. All Tesla people are nice. Just kidding. So. Plugged in. Thank you. So we pulled into stop number four. Uh, we're currently getting 18 kilowatts, which is really slow. We don't we don't want to see that. Um, the guy who we parked next to, so this had four Teslas in it. Uh, he said that someone told him they're having trouble with these, uh, but he said it's working fine for him. It turned off once. Uh, oh, and now he's leaving. So cool. Hopefully, our speed will increase. So again, we're at 18 kilowatts right now. Um, but he said it turned off once while it was charging his car. Um, but he hasn't had any trouble besides that. So we're going to hope that ours doesn't turn off. We're not going anywhere, so we could just restart it if we needed to. Uh, but let's hope this speeds up because we're still at 18 kilowatts. All right, we switched spots, and now we're at 100 kilowatts, which isn't 120, but it's a lot faster than 18. So we'll take it. All right, we've been here for 20 minutes on the faster charger. We're almost done. We need to get to 239 miles. Uh, here's our trip stats so far. We've gone 543 miles. We've used 130 kilowatts and efficiency is pretty good. I expect this number to go up uh, as it gets colder and we get closer to home. All right, we're seeing if autopilot can do the little ticket place. I'm I, terrified. I wouldn't. It's going to take off. No, no, no. Before you've grabbed the ticket. No, I got my foot on the brake. I mean, hovering. Oh, this is frightening. <laughs> I got didn't even get a ticket. You didn't even get a ticket. You just went right through. Alright, it didn't work. I had to hit the brake. I was scared. What the heck are you doing? What the heck is wrong with this thing? Why doesn't it close? Respect the car. <laughs> why does it why how does it do that? Because there's magnets here. They're glowing from a distance. All right, final stop. We are at... Aspen Dental Dentures and Dental Care. <laughs> okay, that's not what I was gonna say. I was gonna say we're at 18% battery. I think that's about the lowest we've pulled into a supercharger with yet. Here they are off in the corner, all creepily empty for us. We'll take this last one. We can pull straight in, I always like that. charging to make sure we get our full kilowatts we're at 80 come on we want more than that it's creeping up this should be up by the time we get back all right let's go 
I'm really glad that this supercharger was empty. I got kind of worried at the last one when it was like half full and then the guys tell me they had issues. Um, so it's nice to walk up to this one and see all the bays open. So around this area, the superchargers, uh, we're still in Ohio, but the superchargers I know in Michigan are all at Myers. Um, so Meyer has some kind of deal with Tesla to install superchargers, which is nice. Meyer has also ordered a bunch of the Tesla semis. Um, so that's a really cool partnership. I hope those get released soon, but Tesla is late with everything. It's got little slots on it. <laughs> yeah, it could be a boy or a girl. You never know. <laughs> Everybody loves slots. All right, we got the Mother's Day card. Heading back to the car. Should be done in a few minutes and we're off. All right, I think you're in there. Okay, it's a little dark. Um, we're at 173 miles. We're gonna charge to 196. That'll get us home with 5%, which is kind of fun and risky, but we might not do it. Every time, every, every time uh, it's underestimated, right? We've, it said we're gonna get there at 15 and we end up getting another 20 or 22. So I kind of wanna push it, but we'll see. Overall, the trip was really good. We had some issues with uh, Tesla's navigation, so it is just not very specific. Um, so we have a spot where it was like gonna go off in three directions and the Tesla navigation was just like, yeah, go ahead. <laughs> and we're like, which one are we taking? So we kind of screwed up a couple of our exits. Um, beyond that, nothing too special. Um, autopilot worked great. Didn't have any weird weirdness with that. Um, but, but that's it. What, what are your thoughts on, because I didn't, I wanted you in part one, but I didn't do it. So what do you think of the, like, you weren't all geeky about Tesla like me. So now after a road trip, what do you think about the Tesla and maybe kind of electric car idea in general? Well, I'm probably in a different position because I'm pregnant. The car ride was almost better than the vacation because it's comfortable. And I couldn't get comfortable on our vacation very easily, like sleeping, sitting, all of that. Tesla's very comfortable. I enjoyed sitting for the whole journey. The door kept keeps shutting on me when I try to get out. That's a pet peeve. What are you talking about? And the navigation. I'm frustrated with the navigation. But it was some confusing terrain. But I feel like Google is better for the tricky spots. And that's all. Everything else was great. Electric vehicle in general, like viable yeah totally awesome yeah better than gas okay oh better than gas yeah uh so the fill up situation like who cares i mean oh we're done look at that now we <laughs> have like another like minute um so i need to wrap this up but yeah maybe we could have saved i don't know 15 minutes or something if we were filling up with gas but we took breaks to walk and, and do all kinds of stuff so I, I don't need to get too much into it i think i talked about it in, in part one but it, it really doesn't add much time uh, with the superchargers. And I don't know about like a bolt or something that probably would take forever, but. We were rushing, like sometimes to get, <laughs> rushing to get to the car in time because we knew it was done charging. Yeah, um, yes, yeah, that's true. Ooh, we have the scary message. Stay below 70 to reach, reach destination. What does it say? It says we'll get there with 5%. I think we're good. We'll keep checking in. Um, you can see on the way we pass three different superchargers so we need two we'll hit one but we're we're not gonna I don't like this five percent thing because I like I wish we had charged longer because if for some reason we didn't make it it would be like the worst thing because it's gonna be midnight in the middle of nowhere like what are we gonna do well we'd be pretty close to home we could have Manuel tell us or something no why not how is Manuel gonna tell us he can tell with his Subaru like what if he leaves I have to come back we'll be fine it's not a problem every time We've gotten there with more percent. But it's getting colder. I'm and... watching this. This number is dropping. We're driving efficiently. Okay. okay. It'll be good. If we have any worries, we're passing 
I mean, by here, this one's really close to our house, this supercharger. So our little thing here will update and say, you're not going to make it or whatever by then. And we'll know. It's just dumb because that's going to add so much time to our drive. That's the risk. We tried to save time. I don't think we're going to have to stop. That's the point. But it would have only taken us like 10 more minutes if we had just stayed there and charged more to feel better about it. Yeah. But, oh well. So our warning message about going slow it hasn't come up in a while. Do you want to check the percent? <laughs> Nine percent. There you go. I feel better. I feel better. All right. I think we're gonna. I think we're gonna wait. What are you doing? You have to hit the little bar. There you go. All right. <laughs> All right. We made it home. We're backing in. 20 miles left, definitely the lowest I've ever had the battery, uh, but no worries, we're here now. You can plug in and charge up overnight. The best part. All right, so we're home. We're done with our drive from North Carolina back home to Michigan. The final stats, 852.5 miles, 214 kilowatt hours, and an average efficiency of 251 watt hours per mile. So that's almost exactly the same as uh, the trip down there. So pretty efficient. I didn't do anything special to get a uh, good efficiency. I just kind of drove and whatever. It's just the way it was. Uh, electric vehicles are, are great for road trips. Um, now, if I think the superchargers are what really make this true. Um, if we didn't have superchargers the whole way, it, it wouldn't have been so fun. Uh, charging would have taken a lot longer. You know, our longest, I, I don't even know how long the charges were because we were occupied during that time. Could we have gotten there faster in a gas car? Theoretically, yes. We could have done all the driving faster if we went to a gas station. I pumped the gas. Stephanie ran in and you know bought food or whatever and then we just got back on the road but realistically i don't think it added any time because the things we did at those stops i think we would have done anyway and if you just think about the road trip in a different way you know it helps we kind of thought about the driving as part of the vacation almost um and then you know you're not feeling rushed and all those things and we got there you know to our destination we got home and we felt great it took us about 17 and a half hours uh, to get home. So that was pretty long. We hit a lot of traffic on the way home. It's awesome. I wouldn't want a road trip in another car. I mean, it's just the way it is now. It's, it's cool. And, and, you know, going forward, I'm sure other companies will implement this technology, you know, in their cars. Um, but come on, what are they waiting for? <laughs> Let's go. After driving 800 miles each way, I am just even more convinced that autopilot is, it's just the future. That's how, you know, things are going to be going forward. Um, the electric aspect, um, which maybe could be looked at as an inconvenience, was fine. No inconvenience at all. The charging was really fast. I did get a little scared. Um, there were two times. Once on the way uh, to North Carolina when we reached the last charger and there was only one spot left. I was kind of like, uh-oh, are we going to get really slow charging speeds? But um, right when we plugged in, the guy in our stall was leaving. Um, so you share stalls. Like each stall is a pair. So if you're next to someone charging, um, if whoever gets there first has the faster charging rate, and then whoever gets their second charges a little slower until they're done. But right as I plugged in at that last one, he, he was leaving. So that wasn't slow at all. And then when we got to the fifth stop on the way home uh, at that hotel, that was really scary because the guy said, oh, they've been having some issues. And I was like, you know, initially all these things go through your head and I'm like, having issues. If I can't charge here, what am I gonna do? We only have like 40 miles or 60 miles left. Um, we can't, I don't think we can make it through another supercharger. We'll have to plug into the wall. I mean, it just, that would have been insane, but I think I just kind of overreacted. He left again, like immediately after I plugged in, he must've been done. And then I switched to his stall 
and got up to 100 kilowatts. So that was probably the most inconvenient charger out of the entire trip. All right, I just finished cleaning the car. I had a couple more thoughts. I was just kind of thinking as I was cleaning. Uh, so we didn't pay for any fuel the whole drive, which was really nice. I think total it would have cost about $60 there and back uh, in supercharging. Uh, and then while we were there, we charged at the house we were staying at. So that's nice. And we used some local chargers around the area too uh, to top off. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions, leave them below and I'll see you next time.